everybody, my name is Casey and I work at the Valor Village Library. Today I have a new STEAM activity for you called Infinity Tiles. I have adapted this activity from a blog called Frugal Fun for Boys and Girls. And the cool thing about Infinity Tiles is no matter how you arrange them, you can turn them around and put them together in all kinds of different ways, they always match up no matter how you put them together. And I'll show you how to make these tiles today. The things that you will need are a pen or a pencil, a ruler or some kind of straight edge, but ideally you want it to be able to measure things, so a ruler is better than just a standard straight edge. Um, some kind of markers or colored pencils, Ideally with a thicker tip, you don't want the really fine ones for this. And I'm going to be using a sheet of cardstock because I happen to have some around. If you don't have cardstock, um, just any regular cardboard, like cereal box cardboard, will work for this. You can just recycle some of your food packaging for this activity if you want. So the first thing you're going to need to do to make your infinity tiles is to make squares. So we're going to grid some squares on my sheet of paper here using the ruler. I recommend two inches by two inches, it's a totally fine size. So what you're going to do is you're going to use your ruler, line it up very carefully one way, and mark every two inches along the ruler. Here we go. And then move the ruler further down. And once again, mark every two inches. Once you've got your marks, you're just going to connect them up. So turn the paper, line up the ruler with your two marks, and draw a line. Once you've done that, you're just going to go through the same process going the other way to get your cross lines. And you wind up with the squares. Um, if you do it more carefully than I did just there, you can get 16 squares out of a standard letter size paper. Um, if you're using a cardboard box, you might get even more. Um, 16 or 25 are good numbers, so a 4x4 grid or a 5x5 grid both work fine. Your next step is to cut out your squares, so then you wind up with a bunch of squares. And the next thing you're going to want to do is mark the middle of each side on each square. It's very important that these measurements are precise. Um, so maybe do these yourself rather than getting your kid to do this part, but the next step your kid can help you with. So take each square, line it up with the zero on your ruler, and carefully mark the center of each side. Once you've got all your squares with all of the side centers marked, the next step is to draw on them. The goal is to just draw lines on them that always start or end at these four points. So you can either do curvy lines, you can do spiky lines, they can go from side to side like this, or they can cross over each other like this. Anything you want, just as long as all four of those points on every square has a line going into and out of it. So once you have all of your squares drawn on with different designs, um, you can encourage your child to put them together in different ways, to look at the ways it goes together. You can tell them that no matter what they do, they'll always match up and ask them if they can figure out why they're always going to match up. Depending on the age of your kid, this might be very easy for them to figure out or not. But either way, infinity tiles, once you've made them, are a really fun sort of calming activity for any kid. They can just lay out the tiles, they can look at the shapes that are made by the drawings, they can follow the lines, which are always continuous and go all the way through. They can do all kinds of things with these tiles. It's just a fun meditative activity. If you do make your own infinity tiles at home, I would love to see them. You can always share um, anything that you're doing at home with us at VPL um, using the hashtag VPL at home on your favorite social media channel. We always like to hear from you and thank you so much for watching another Steam video from me. Bye bye!